My name is David Lawrence and I'm a design professional here to give you a little primer in the use of the iPad 2 in your professional practice. So you say to yourself, well, why would I want to have one of these things and what use would it be to me as a design professional? Uh, and I'll show you a few things that I've managed to use it for which uh, I think are very useful to me and why I heartily recommend this product uh, with certain caveats. Uh, the first thing you need to realize, that, uh, I did check this out over a Motorola Zoom. The reason I purchased this over Motorola Zoom were two reasons. The biggest reason that I purchased this was that this product is visible in direct sunlight. I can take this outside into the field, I can look at a PDF of a drawing, and I can see it. I don't have to run for the shade, which is what I'd have to do if I had a Motorola Zoom. The second reason I bought this was that this product has been out for a couple of years, it's got a better operating system, it's got more apps, more choices for what you can buy to use with it. Those were the reasons I made my decision. I purchased the um, protective cover from Apple with the magnetics on it. Uh, I find this to be a really good cover. Um, the only downside is you can see that uh, the underside of it is kind of a, a suede type uh, finish to protect the glass and it clicks dirt quite easily. There's no real good way to clean it. Um, I also did purchase the, um, uh, from Belkin, I purchased the uh, plastic uh, back to it. Uh, because it's the aluminum, I, I kept it as aluminum because I thought it was sleek and beautiful, but it, it's, it's very slippery. You put it on a counter, it's going to slide off the counter with the Belkin on there. It still looks good and it doesn't slide around. Um, I've dropped this a couple times with these two things on it and it's uh, managed to protect it. So I think it's uh, pretty good. You want to protect your investment. All right, so let's talk a little bit about, um, let's talk a little bit about uh, what this thing will do for you and what it won't. Um, the products that I've purchased that I use on this are the penultimate and the reason I do this is um, let's just say you're out in the field and you want to email um, a sketch to your draftsman you prepare a little sketch you email it and it's gone off to the office to be drawn up I think that's uh, very high in the productivity level um, so that was uh, where I found it to be extremely useful I, um, I purchased two different sketching uh, apps. I purchased the Penultimate and I purchased the Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. Um, Penultimate is more like your meat potatoes kind of thing. You need a sketch. You got to do something. You need to take notes. You don't want to lose your notes. This is where I would use that. The, uh, the Sketchbook Pro is more for uh, creating uh, nice drawings, um, like little sketch drawings. Uh, it's a very powerful, very interesting tool. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, ability to color and do things that Penultimate does not have. Um, fascinating tool. One huge limitation that is really the limitation of any all the iPad products is it's designed to be used with your finger and so when you go to use one of these um, styluses you can see the tip of it is very broad. It's like drawing with a crayon and uh, it's uh, hard to get used to. It's very imprecise. You're used to a pen. It'll drive you crazy but you know it has its uses, it's interesting, and this is a fun tool to play with as a creative person. I've really enjoyed playing with it and uh, uh, have used it. So uh, Sketchbook Pro uh, and uh, Penultimate two different, accomplish two different things. Now when I need to get to the office, I get to something off my desktop computer, I use iTeleport. Uh, very useful. Um, let's me uh, get right in at my desk. Here's the keyboard command. Okay, I, the only thing that you need to be aware of with this is the lag time on it is significant, um, but I found it to be a very robust tool. Uh, now here I am at my desktop on my computer. I can get to anything I want on there. Uh, it's too slow to draw like an AutoCAD or anything like that, but if you needed to um, get in there, get a PDF, get a file, uh, look at an email that may not be on your iPad, um, that's all very um, helpful. So uh, I strongly recommend some kind of product like that. Um, this, uh, I also recommend that you uh, get a, a, a Dropbox. Uh, this will allow you to move big files back and forth um, from your computer to your iPad. The interface through, uh, through iTunes is, uh, is clunky to say the least. The other thing you can do is uh, for about 30 bucks you can purchase these which will allow you to use like a USB port and you could uh, import uh, pictures from your camera right into it. Uh, that's the, about the quickest way to get things in. Uh, so uh, those are the two, the two sketch programs uh, that I use. Google Maps is, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, the maps is, uh, the navigation, everything is uh, just vastly inferior to, um, 
to the Google products, but you know, it's there, it's free, use it, but it's not as good. Um, so, um, I also use it for uh, showing my clients pictures of my work. Um, so this is, uh, that, now the problem with it is, is that it, uh, it does not, it puts things in chronological order and it's not like a computer, you can't create the order for things uh, by labeling the file names or something. Uh, you got one choice, chrono, and that's it. And you can see that that's somewhat cumbersome because these files are different. I would like to keep these in order, but I have no ability to do that. But I can take my sh client, show them the work, they're impressed with this. Uh, it's a really nice presentation tool, and uh, I use it a lot to show clients my work uh, rather than lugging around a portfolio. So um, that covers the two sketch programs and uh, just the, the photos with their limitations. Web browsing uh, and email, I'm not even going to get into that. Uh, you can figure that out for yourself. Uh, now, the other, probably the most powerful thing that I use this for is uh, as, an, as a PDF reader. I, uh, Get things to uh, I get uh, drawings onto my um, I get it onto my uh, my uh, I annot I use I annot um, I'm sorry Good Reader and uh, it allows you to open up a file and uh, and uh, annotate it. Uh, it's got a limitation in that um, it's really set up for reading eight and a half by eleven, so you have to lock the auto rotate. Uh, to get it to read the right way, but very useful. Uh, I find this, uh, I can take this, I can mark this up, do a markup on this, and uh, send this to a, a, a draftsman or somebody. Anyway, very useful. Um, of the two programs I bought, I bought uh, uh, iAnnotate and I bought GoodReader. iAnnotate is very cumbersome to use, I don't recommend it. GoodReader is simple, easy to use, and it and, uh, doesn't have a lot of extra stuff to it, but it's just enough to pull up a PDF, annotate it, the file management's good, it's a great product, um, I recommend it. Um, so that's uh, the, the uh, PDF reading. Uh, so that's really pretty much it, um, all I have to show you today. I mean, uh, email is uh, what you're used to, but uh, it's unlike uh, Microsoft Word and that you can't create filters so you end up with uh, the junk, a lot of the junk mail that you can't filter out, which is um, a pain in the neck, quite frankly. And um, the only other thing I have to show you that I use, I have a, a list product, I'm a getting, getting Things Done fan, uh, so um, I use Get It Done, uh, very useful. And uh, I, have bought a, uh, I use, got the free calculator, it's kind of annoying the reminders to purchase the for sale one, but uh, useful. And uh, also um, I got documents to go in case I never needed to open up a WordPerfect document or an Excel drawing. Don't use it a whole lot, and the only other thing that I purchased with this, which I don't use a lot, is uh, from Zag. I bought um, one of the uh, keyboards uh, to use with this, the wireless keyboards, and uh, I don't use that at all. The keyboard on this is just fine for what you're doing 90% of the time. Anyway, uh, Google Earth is kind of crippled. It's uh, it's there, but it uh, doesn't have the pictures. It's not doesn't have the places and things. It's uh, it's uh, you you can use it somewhat, but uh, n not nearly as good as. Uh, on like any kind of Google product, uh, it's just a, 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 a crippled version of it. So that's a, that's all I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this little um, primer on uh, using AutoCAD in your practice, and I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you're interested in uh, checking out our work, um, we are at uh, www.dlarchitect.com. Thanks for joining us.